This is Arts in Depth on WSKG. I'm Bill Snyder. And it really is WSKG right now because we're incorporating uh, uh, Andy Piak, who's the senior producer and director of Expressions, and the host of Expressions, Adara Alston. And you've got the Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers on Expressions on Friday, February 9th at 8.30. What can people expect? Oh, they can expect it to be moved for sure, Bill. We're uh, very proud to present the Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers in a special Expressions episode premiering this Friday, February 9th at 8.30. It features some gospel performances from the group that was curated by their artistic director, Dr. Baruch Whitehead. It features an interview with Baruch that was conducted by our very talented host, Adara and uh, the, just a, it was a, a great program. And, and even better news, Bill, just about 15 minutes before this interview started, our tremendous programming director here at WSKG gave me the thumbs up and said it's OK uh, to, to send. So, uh, you know, plenty of time, only three days, uh, three days left to spare before the program <laughs> was actually finished. And it's not just going to be on WSKG, I understand. That is correct. I do think uh, we have a, a, a little uh, programming graphic that uh, that we can show, and it is up oh, yeah, there. We go. You can see uh, right there at uh, eight thirty that this is uh, Friday, February 9th at eight thirty on WSKG, and then followed by a special gospel live music national program presented by Henry Louis Gates Jr. And ten o'clock, there's another gospel music program produced by Albany. So if you are feeling the spirit of the Lord, WSKG. This Friday is your place to be. And yes, Bill, I should mention also on Friday, February 9th, it is going to air on WCNY public media in Syracuse at 1130 that evening. So I know a lot of our Ithaca viewers and and, and fans aren't able to access WSKG TV in that area. And they do have WCNY. So the Dorothy Cotton Expressions program will be available from the Syracuse station as well. So. Just very proud to to have worked with this group and to be able to bring Adara into to talking not only about the great music that Baruch uh, provided us, but also about the the legacy of, of Dorothy Cotton and and the great work you know that she did. Yes, yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, Dorothy Cotton is a, a a very important figure. Can you tell us a little bit more about about her? Uh, sure. Uh, Dorothy Cotton uh, was a, a civil rights activist. Um, some of what she has been known for historically is being within the the, the kind of inner circle of Dar Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, and being one of um, in the uh, Dorothy Cotton um, uh, film uh, that that is that is uh, starting to circulate uh, talks about how they were they were quite uh, close and good friends, uh, but also the the impact that she had within being a voice, uh, which is a, a rare uh, a, a woman's voice within the group and respected amongst the group. Uh, and there's certain programs that she's known for, including the Citizenship Education Program, which was used to uh, help uh, members of the Black community register to vote by making sure that a lot of times there were there were uh, blocks put in front of uh, Black voters uh, to make it hard for them to vote by having to recite the Constitution or things like that. So they, they worked to educate in ways that they would able be able to pass these kind of tests and allow them to register, and thousands upon thousands uh, went through this program. And then they, the people that were educated in this program, then educated others, and it and it was really instrumental uh, in the uh, Voter Registration Act and things that were um, part of the movement. And uh, Dorothy Cotton was a was a key figure in those types of types of things. Um, I actually. Uh, in the interview with uh, Dr. Baruch Whitehead, we, we talked a little bit about that and also how uh, uh, Dr. Whitehead had founded uh, the Jubilee Singers uh, initially without any any name associated with them as far as uh, a tribute. And then he was listening to WSKG radio, I believe, actually, <laughs> and uh, and was, was struck by uh, the figure uh, that Dorothy Cobb was and wanted to pay homage and re actually rename the group to the Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers. I, I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't she live in Ithaca for a while? She did. She was, um, she had a job, uh, a, a role at Cornell University that brought her to Ithaca. Uh, she was in that role for, I believe, over a decade or so. Uh, and then she became instrumental in the community 
um, and was quite quite known in the Ithaca community. So she's she's a, a point of pride uh, in the Ithaca community for for all she did uh, prior to moving to Ithaca and all she did while at Ithaca. Uh, can we have a little taste of uh, of the program? Coming soon on Expressions, we present a special program featuring the Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers. <laughs> with performances filmed at both Ithaca College and at the AME Zion Church that was part of the Underground Railroad. Friday, February 9th at 8.30 on WSKG-TV. And then followed by uh, uh, the gospel program with Henry Lewis Gates. And then, of course, Bill, next week, on PBS on Monday and Tuesday at nine o'clock, there are two two nights of a of a gospel documentary, also hosted by Henry Louis Gates Jr. So, as I mentioned before, if you're a fan of gospel music, then WSKG TV, and of course, also streaming live at WSKG.org, we have great programming coming up for you in the next couple of weeks, and we also are going to offer a companion radio program of the Dorothy Cotton. Jubilee Singers performance, and that is going to broadcast on WSKG Classical uh, Saturday, February 17th at 10 a.m. There we go. We got a graphic showing that. So as I mentioned, if you're a big fan of gospel and, and spiritual music, then WSKG definitely has you covered. Um, I do want to mention, Bill, a couple of the performances that we'll see in the program on Friday. Uh, one, which you just heard in the promo, is Order My Steps from Glenn Burley, and that featured a uh, guest soloist that the Jubilee Singers brought in that night, Krista Overby, and uh, she definitely knocked it uh, completely out of the park. And we'll also hear another great gospel song, Total Praise, from uh, Richard Smallwood, and that will uh, open the program. So definitely, if you're a fan of gospel music or spiritual music or, or, or just great local history, we also recorded some segments at the St. James AME Zion Church in downtown Ithaca, which was part of the Underground Railroad. Harriet Tubman was there. Frederick Douglass was there. So a lot of history that we were uh, lucky to to take part in and, and record a performance there as well. So just uh, very happy. We're, we're very proud of the program uh, and looking forward for the public to finally get a chance to see it this Friday. Well, since I have you here, I'm sorry, I can't resist the uh, opportunity to embarrass you two a little bit because if you look over Andy's shoulder, there's a little gold thing in the background. Can you tell us about that little gold thing? That's the other way. There you go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that right there, yeah, that was uh, very unexpected. Uh, Adara and I, along with other uh, Expressions team members, Alyssa Micha and Mike Micha, were, were nominated for a New York State Emmy Award uh, back in October. At the end of October, we went down to Manhattan for the ceremony. And I have to say, when we all found out we were placed at table 65 out of 67. I think we were all like, well, you know, it's great to be nominated, but I don't think Expressions is going to win. We were up against, I think, four entries from the New York City PBS station. So we were, we were all happy, uh, you know, just to be nominated. And then when the time came, Expressions was announced. And after we uh, picked ourselves up off the floor, we were able to wind our way to the stage and uh, and uh, yeah, accepted our uh, New York State Emmy. Uh, just a, a tremendous honor, and and it, it's really being able to tell the the local art stories of, of groups like the Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers, um, but, you know, local artists like Samite and 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 the like. Expressions just does a great job on on shining uh, the spotlight on a lot of great artists here in upstate New York, and look look forward to continuing that in the future. Once again, WSKG Expressions is presenting the Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers under the direction of Baruch Whitehead. The program is on Friday, February 9th at 8.30 on WSKG TV. Please like this YouTube video and share it with your friends and even become uh, 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 subscribed to the WSKG YouTube channel and you'll be notified whenever there's a new uh, YouTube video up. Once again, my guests have been senior producer and director Andy Piak and the Expressions host Adara Alston. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Bill.